Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. In this video, we are going to discuss what are the naming conventions that we need to follow while creating a new branch. So we will understand few standards and best practices which we all need to follow. Whenever you or your team need to work on new feature in the project or need to fix some bug, then you should create a new branch from master branch under your project either using git console or directly on github and you should continue working with the feature branch only so basically we need to create a new branch using default branch which is in most of the cases either it is master or main and using main or master create a new branch give some name and you should continue working with your feature branch only with this approach your master branch would be safe and you can try implementing new code or bug fix in your feature branch without impacting your master branch so this is the process this is the approach but when we create a new branch new feature branch then what are the naming conventions that we need to follow as per the standard practice so it is very important to give a proper name to the feature branch as per the standard practice when it comes to naming feature branch in git or in github there is no one size fit all convention however there are some general guidelines and conventions and examples that we can consider so same we are going to discuss in this video to explain the naming conventions here i am using git bash and currently i am referring sample project and i am on master branch at this point of time if i create feature branch then that feature branch would be the copy of my master branch i have already discussed this concept in detail in this video so you can refer this video after this to understand what exactly happens when we create a new branch so there are two important concepts that we all need to understand and follow whenever we create a new branch so that i have already explained in this video you can refer and watch accordingly so to create a new branch what we do is git checkout hyphen b and here comes the name of the branch that we want to create the first convention is don't use generic name so generic name means something like feature 1 or feature 2 or new feature or feature new something like this all these names are generic one okay so we should use descriptive and concise name your feature branch should give a clear idea of what feature you are working on maybe you can say something like fix login issue at least this is much better than saying feature one or new feature so by looking at this branch someone can understand okay as a part of this branch i am working on some fix which is related to login and one more thing that we need to ensure is like don't use your name in the feature branch many a times what what we see is like if i am uh, working on feature branch then my feature branch will will have my name something like this so including a name in the feature branch is also not a good practice so we should avoid so first convention is that don't use generic name don't use your name give some meaningful name to your feature branch and your name should give a clear idea what feature you are working on second convention is that we should use a prefix what i mean by prefix is one commonly used convention is to prefix the branch with a feature or defects something like this if i need to work on fixing the issue then probably my my feature branch name could be defect slash fix login issue something like this it means as a part of this branch i am fixing something i am working on defect here i am giving a prefix before my actual name of the feature branch or you can also say feature if you are working on some new feature then you can use keyword called feature slash login new design something like this it means you are working on new feature which is related to 
login page new design so it's clear just by reading the name anyone can understand get somewhat idea with this convention it helps to clearly indicate the purpose of the branch and make it easier for other developers to understand what changes are being made in this feature branch so this is the another convention we can use prefix third convention is use task id so most of the time whenever there is a new task either to work on new feature or to fix some defect there would be some zira task right with respect to that work so it is always recommended to include your task id in your feature branch for example let's say i am working on something which has a ticket id as a abc hyphen 1 2 3 this is the new feature and as a part of this ticket i need to design i need to work on new design of login page first of all this is new feature so we are using prefix as a feature and we are mentioning the id task id or ticket number here and then i am giving a some meaningful description so this as a whole is the name of your feature branch it has lot of information this is new feature this is a part of this task id and and there is also a description so this is the another convention that we should follow including a ticket id task id in the feature branch name another convention is we should use hyphen instead of underscore so let's take a previous example so here in most of the cases in ticket id it is always separated by hyphen so this is your abc is a short form of your project name and 1 2 3 is the ticket id and here the short name and ticket number is separated by hyphen here and and here also we have mentioned login new design which is also separated by hyphen but in between here i have used underscore so it depends on you and your team how what the naming convention you want in case of underscore and hyphen so so it is always recommended to use hyphen instead of underscore because typing a hyphen is faster compared to typing a underscore another convention is that use lower case letters so git branch names are case sensitive yes names are case sensitive but it is good practice to use lower case letter to avoid any confusion many times we see a feature branch where you know first letter of each word is starting with caps so it creates a confusion whenever you are telling someone your feature branch name then then it's really difficult to convey the message clearly what is lower case and what is not so as per the standard practice it is always recommended to use the lower case always apart from these conventions you can also decide on some other rules as per your project need and make sure that all these rules are documented and all the members in the team are following this these are just few examples as per the standard practice and the naming convention that industry is following but it's not a uh, hard and fast that you have to follow all these rules but it is always recommended to obey all these conventions apart from that you can also design you can also decide your own convention that you want to apply for your project moreover you can also enforce all these rules in your git workflow so that if anyone is bypassing all these then they would not be able to merge the changes let's say you have decided that your feature branch should follow this convention having a prefix having a ticket id use of hyphen everything should be in lower case and uh, you can enforce this policy you can enforce this guideline using workflow and in that case if anyone is bypassing this rule if anyone is not obeying the naming convention then they would not be able to move ahead they will get stuck because one or other checks would not pass deciding the naming convention is one thing but making sure that it's being followed is another thing which is very very important ultimately the naming convention you choose should be consistent 
and make sense to your team's workflow and project management tools. That's all for this video guys. I hope you have learned something new today from this video. Please reach out to me if you have any doubts or any questions. Please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features. Thank you for running this one. Thank you.